dipagata president akanda diras ni kunyodora na Joseph Kabila kuto kumana mbo tuona yo ndedu ya na kumira fakanaka aga uthu kwatira kuti kunzunga takakupai one compensation takakupai my mind takakupai chino ne chino ro we did put all that man idi aida 1 billion from diras ni aga takakupai my mind one mangai sa kumar you can bring home empty and any more why because they had an agreement they had a standing agreement so that is the main reason why these guys were targeted by the united states of america under the dura because they went against american foreign policy they fought america it was a proxy war zimbabwe was fighting to keep mamina razavai luta drc uh, us under uh, through cia and their proxy banyamulenge and rwandan army they were also fighting to get mamina out of drc so us being a superpower they attack the dog man and they are placed under my sanction then they say ataka sanction what because it will hurt with us you do say land ataka sanction what because ataka tura land that's a lie Hello viewers, welcome back to Ramsay TV. Pana bato kwa ina uza kasi ya na siya na maapte si churu chanayi chupo kumatima na inyika na inzani chupo zaka tuko mbeleza. Ma kusaya na ana wandane audio ndo kwa chayi kwa napaisi ya leaked audio actually a yeshu ili kuiti kaka na uti yeshu waka wakonzeresa a the real truth a ya kaita kutipazu wa ni anonzi iyo ma targeted sanctions. Guys, nado watu mwuzi nzuru omega a troop soldier a shitawu la mwuzi nzuru wa 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 mwuzi nzuzu 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 more information for more updates till next time it's bye for now yeah i'm a sanction is right eric i think boy it's okay rough food i i'm sure when we say i can't wait to go through the document residue the statement number one that is declared by the united states congress it speak of corruption it speak of the DRC war, only of DRC. That's the first statement that you know Tanga could address. The Amazon chain is going to be involved in Zimbabwe in DRC and the misadventures. That's the first paragraph. That is the DRA document. So I go DRC go white was no roga, no agomana. That's why we got target. We got targeted sanction because all that is no longer but DRC, and then they come and say Zimbabwe is under sanction sanctions. But I want to do it. You can't do it. See, it's a guy that is just a guy. Babu. I want to do it. Tell me what you say. But when you go into the document, Rajoga, you know what I do? The costly deployment of troops to DRC. I did. Zimbabwe, you got to donor funding and support funding. You have a World Bank and IMF, which was meant to support the economy after ESA and used it for DRC, which they say it's an act of financial misgovernance and an undemocratic deployment of troops to DRC. Mugabe just woke up and said that to Mama Soja, DRC, Parliament, I number any discussion. It was a, an executive order from the president, which cost the nation. Billions of dollars. Because at one point, Zimbabwe has spent more than $5 million a day in DRC to support the army that was there. It went against U.S. foreign policy. That's the reason why these guys were targeted. Because the same reason why America was trying to push its foreign policy in DRC, Zimbabwe went and started doing the same like CIA. And went against U.S. foreign policy. So in 1999, IMF found that because Pakat was breaching stand up, stand by agreement. IMF very great fund in Zimbabwe. International Development Association suspended all the loans, the credit, the guarantees. Why? Because it was a direct result of the involvement of the DRC. Mari, that was meant for development in Zimbabwe, was redirected to DRC war effort unilaterally under an executive order by Robert Mugabe. That's what I'm going to do. Because on 4 September 1997, Robert Mugabe, I was going to sign a deal that was not a cost leg to Kinshasa. So, 
The emergence of Banyamulenge from Rwanda, which was operating under the Rwandese National Army, is a covert operation and directed by the CIA to infiltrate Eastern DRC and take over the Kivu province, the Kabinda province, so that they mine the coal pan, the, co the co uh, cobalt, cassiterite, and coal tan, which are the minerals in the Chinese called Gajrama, semiconductor chips, my computer, my laptop, my cell phone, Apple phone. They're all coming from those minerals. That's what they really wanted from there. Right. So Zimbabwe felt threatened because already they had signed a deal with Lauren Kabila for the same. They were going after diamond and gold. They, they had a deal to go into timber because they were given a large tract of forest land to support the DRC army. Zimbabwe defense industry, Yaga Piwa, is stuck in a company in the Gika mine. Yeah, minor copper and cobalt. And it in return. Yeah, I found out supply of my weapons. Kuchi ku Congo National Army. And Sibu Siso Moyo was the director of Coast League. Zagaz the United Nations Imu List is an international diamond thief. Sibu Siso Moyo. Right. So if you read the, the United Nations report of 2002, it stated with the Zimbabwe Defense Forces started looting DRC under the pretext of for war. To, to protect uh, the sovereignty of DRC. They started thieving. Vitalis is in a rush. Agapu, a contract, a good supplier, Mama Camouflage, boot, vodka, the massoja, food, just Agapiwa. Then what happened? They fronted John Bredenkamp, Nendege Zaki, to do that. But Nendege Zaki, John Bredenkamp, Zai Zoka, Zai Zoka, Zagata Gura, the Golden Diamond, those who are going to be able to do it, they are going to be able to do it, they are going to be able to do it. No, but this is those plans, they are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. And it. Then, what is it going to be able to do it? It's going to be able to do it, but it's going to be able to do it, and it's Dova Ida say, Dova Atora Giga Mine Company, Vepua Robert Mugabe, and a Koslug. Then Emerson Mnangaga was appointed a civilian CEO, and he founded Bill Rittenberg, the CEO of Giga Mine, right? Vakumana Vakumana register Koslug, Kumorijas, and they looted the country. Vakama, and a Koslug. Then Kosler yeah, took over another company, and Congo, Congo Duka, which specialized in timber as well, and also specialized in copper and cobalt mining, in the compens uh, in compensation for Zimbabwean army deployment. But Mario, you never made it home. Mario, your you compensation, you have a Congo Duka, you have a Kika mine, never saw a single light in Zimbabwe. Who made up of the coast leg in the Zimbabwean panel? Brigadier Sibusi Somoy, Karaga Zai, Air Force, Vitalis Zinawashi, John Bredenkamp, the logistic um, front, Emerson Mnangagwa, is the chairperson of the board, Rodenberg is the CEO of coast leg and Gekamai, parents here. <laughs> you, you see the, the team, and behind the scene was Robert Mgabe and Rex Nongo. Where are these guys now? Vitalis is now a shagafa. Mysterious death. Rex Nongo, you know how he died. Jordan, John Braden came back at T. Sagan from Fira with Britain. Parents here, I can go with a COVID. Mungua is my general. Sibusiso Moyo, I can go with a COVID. Mungua is my general. Robert Mugabe, we know how he died. Sagan, Diana Kasarapa, the original coast leg composition of DRC. It Billy Rodenberg and Emerson Dambudum Nangagwa. But the original DRC looking team. So they decided to steal some more, like I just say, like I create a green fuels without going to tender. And then they enforce the ethanol blending into, pe into petrol. Compulsor, like I think I'm going to go to the Zimbabwe. These guys, I'm not going to talk about transport. I see a Billy Rottenberg, everyone. It's a costly company, fronted by Billy Rottenberg. To loot cobalt and copper from DRC. And then I line I respond from DRC Atakura Copper. Yeah, loot one on command, some transport. It's cost leg. It's owned by these guys. 
Right. That's why I'm going to when they went to DRC, Takaita Joseph Kabila, the the uh, he did Takaita president. I can't do DRC. Could you turn Joseph Kabila? Could I come and put you on a yo? Could you do it? I come here for Ghana. I go out. What did you do? Zunga take a cup of one compensation. Take a cup of my mind. Take a cup of chino no chino. So where did you put all that man? He did either one billion from DRC. I can take a cup of my mind one. My eyes are mad. He came back home empty ended. Why? Because they had an agreement. They had a standing agreement. So that is the main reason why these guys were targeted by the United States of America under Zidera because they went against American foreign policy. They fought American. It was a proxy war. Zimbabwe was fighting to keep Mamina Razavai Luta, DRC, uh, US under, uh, through CIA, and their proxy, Banyamulenga and Rwandan army. They were also fighting to get Mamina Raz out of DRC. So, US being a superpower, they attacked the Dogoman and they police under my sanction. Then they say, ah, take a sanction because to recruit with us, you do the land, take a sanction because take a to land. That's a lie. Yeah, yeah, I And the Lancaster House Agreement, they were not going to go to the United States. We know the mama, 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 it was because they refused to engage, to say, can you please give us a clean audit of the money that we gave you from 1980 to 1990 to support willing buyer, willing seller? One way to relook at what no girls go to my jail, remote land. We have a hammer that is not going to go to the zone. It's not willing buyer, willing seller. Marie got to Marie got to so UK simply demanded an audit, and these guys were not forthcoming. And then they orchestrated land reform, uh, land grab, to be precise. So I got a man to my sanction because of the violation of, you know, the proper right, the land. It's not a lie. But then I moved up to my sanction. The land question was never addressed. These guys, they violated the constitution, the Zimbabwean constitution, the human rights charter, they violated a lot of issues. Come to 2002 elections. Arbitrary uh, violation of human rights, abuse. Taona, a democratic space is the hearing. There's no democracy in Zimbabwe. There's no freedom. There's no freedom of speech in Zimbabwe. Look at what these Chabangu's uh, puppet are doing. Anna Linda, what is that? The democratic space in Zimbabwe has shrunk to the lowest level. And Zambi of who come and sing a sanction mandra, Anna Garamu Lamborghini Galado, the Gari Ari Ari Mu Lamborghini Urus. Who do that? Bugatti Veyron, Bugatti Chiron, because Zimbabwe was not road. But I know that we are under sanction. I got a rose rose got from a sanctioning nation. And then they talk to you about sanctions, which they invited to themselves. Wagabamara, you would It never came to Zimbabwe. Wagabama minerals, because they are still maintaining those minerals. I can put a report here 2002, which was given to Kofi Annan, specifying the reason why these guys were stealing from DRC. And then they cry about something. Paunua na mnangago, unua na a white man. That's why it's good that his uncle is ipati warungu. Paunua na mnangago, unua na murungu. Paunua na mnangago, unua na mfisa nongi Billy Rottenberg. Billy Rottenberg is a friend of mnangago. I've seen the DRC time. Right? You get a guy called John Bredenkamp. Who took over Africa from the Rhodesian. Yeah, it's a sanction busting. Mnanga boy is there. John Braden came. There is a white man. And then Billy Rodenberg is looting the whole country dry through ethanol. You go green fields, no ten dance on Mnanga boy. You find a white man. Then another gold front and the tobacco baron, a tobacco front. You find Simon Radland. You find Emerson Mnanga boy. And Simon Radland is 
taking money out of Zimbabwe. Mm. They can tell you good Nelson Mranga go eh, 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 Nelson Chamisa is a puppet in Larungu. Like seriously, are you that thick? Right now he's fronting the Mazuti. He's fronting Zunaid Moti. I see Mota yeah Zunaid Moti Relambukini in the Mamma Remba de Maraba. You don't do Bugatti Veron Yaim Mara Papa Airport. That Zunaid Moti's car in South Africa. Sans oil is being run by Zunaid Moti as a partner with a Mason Nangagua. Could that agree is just a front from the Mason Nangagua find the white man. Nikiman Gwana got at 2018 at Chivago and walked into the state house and became an information secretary. Who groomed him? The M16. That's, those who are now managed Mr. President. He is crying for the same party of someone, Nikiman Gwana. What about the road to Amusha? My infiltrators, my recruit, my British. That's why I'm telling you the Zanupiev is a creature of this. The British. It is run by M16. It is run by Mossad. Took over the <laughs> CIO from Ken Flower, and you are like a under Ken Flower for many years, for almost five years with Ken Flower. But the CIO was in um, covert operation with the M16 and the Mossad. So do you think it's Agapira? It's Agapira it is also. And they are still together. But you are told that Chamisa is a puppet of the British. Chamisa is no puppet of nobody. That guy does to go support Aturinda. Not even one donor of a me of a not. Oh no, no. So what we are trying to get rid of is Zimbabweans is dependent syndrome, depending on external forces, foreign forces, foreign donations. Akuna Kimara, Kimara, Mshana, one to a pure, the donor, there is something in it, they want something from you. We, we need the Pan African nation with Pan African values. Ubuntu is our virtue. That's what we need as Zimbabwe. Not to mortgage our soul and our resources to external forces. We need a nationalistic approach that is pro Zimbabwe. Value addition to our minerals before we export them. The Chinese are looting the country dry, the minerals are going out of the country, no value addition. We need to change that trajectory, we need a new approach. We all know that they are paid, noise. So it's on the post. Who doesn't know that? So stop wasting your time in the noise and focus on the real issues that is affecting the economy. Zanu is the problem. Go to the opposition. Opposition, I'm not here to control Zimbabwe.